If you're looking to complete the first page of the FTB Sky Odyssey quest book, and I'm here to help you, I'm going to do it in 20 minutes, and I'm going to show you all the stuff I've learned, and we're playing here on the Normal Plus Pack from the FTB Older. This is the hardest one I could find, so let's get right into it, shall we? Let's introduce Greg, Wendy, what's up guys, and we're going to do this. I'll start the timer as soon as I break the first leaf here, but first let's take a look at our quests. This is what you're here to complete, correct? And let's talk about the order that we're going to go in, at least partially. First, we're going to go from the oak wood down to the storage drawer. The oak wood is pretty simple. We're on the tree. We need the sapling. We're going to move into the oak drawer, which will give us our stone transmutation table. This is super important. This will give us everything else that we need. Then we have two options. We can either go A, we can do the marble crafting table, or B, we can do the chicken breeder. Chicken breeder is kind of set on Greg and Wendy. We need to kind of wait for them to poop so we can get their manure. That way we can grow some seeds, get some seeds, and all that fun stuff. And then we'll move on to the coal generator, down to the beast coin miner. It'll all work out really well, and we'll go from there. First off, we're going to have to start by, well, Tildy Key is your vein mine. We're going to go ahead, chop all the leaves, chop all the wood. And I have found that if you do this part, next part, improperly, it might cause you some problems. So we're going to need to go ahead and create a cobble gen. And the best way I found is come to this corner. We'll come out by one, two, three, and you can just dig it along by one. We're going to kind of, we're kind of extending the water flow as much as we can. That way we don't have a too strong water stream and it'll hit our main source of lava, turning it into obsidian. That is the last thing we want. So just dig it all out, all the way to your lava. Leave one block just in case you did it wrong. Then go ahead, break your grass block there, break this one here, and voila, we should have cobble. Well, we'll get to that here in a second because we need to do some other stuff. Go ahead and get yourself two stacks of logs. Go ahead and twerk these trees into place. Just like so, really fast, I went ahead and I got myself a lot of wood. So we're going to get things started. We're going to go ahead, make a crafting table. Then we're going to make a storage drawer, which is a chest with some planks, like so. We're going to go into our quest. We're going to claim our reward of our stone transmutation table. Also collect all of the random rewards. We're going to need this gold here shortly. Now, if you haven't seen that Greg or Wendy have produced anything, which ours has. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Greg, for your services of eating and pooping. We're going to go ahead, slab down the stone transmutation table. We're going to throw in our manure. We're going to throw in everything. We want as much EMC as we can. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a wooden pickaxe and a wooden hoe. I'm going to EMC my sticks for this. That way I have them for later. Pickaxe, hoe, done. Now we can go ahead, grab a bunch of manure. I'm just going to shift click that. That way we have a bunch. Go ahead, manure the ground. Break some stuff till you get some seeds. Till the soil next to your water. Go ahead, place your seeds, manure that up. Grab a wheat. We can now go ahead, throw that wheat in, grab nine, make a hay bale, EMC it, grab three, grab your seed, EMC it, grab a seed, and grab five planks. Boom, there's your chicken breeder. The thing is worth 700 EMC. Throw that thing back in. We want as much EMC as we can. Next up is our marble crafting table. Come up here to your shop. In the get started, scroll down to the bottom is where you'll find your marble. We're going to go ahead by four. Buy a quest book. This is just useful to have, and it's used in a later recipe. And while we're in the shop, go ahead, come down to ores. Go ahead, buy a black quartz. Buy an iron ore. You can go ahead and EMC all of these. We're going to take out our four marble. Voila, crafting table done. Don't need it, so I'm just going to EMC it. Claim your random rewards. We need all the gold we can. Next up is coal generator and our beast coin miner. For a coal generator, I'm going to use the Actually Editions, and we're going to stick within Actually Editions because it uses an iron casing for most of their machines. And if I EMC it, we have it for the rest of our machines. As you see, we need some charcoal, we need some cobblestone, we need our iron black quartzes, which was why we bought them then. But first we need to get our cobblestone so we can make a furnace, and then make our charcoal. So remember, we're doing EMC, so we only need one cobblestone. We're done with mining cobble. Go ahead and grab yourself 14 cobblestone. Two oak logs, craft yourself a furnace, make yourself some charcoal, EMC said charcoal, grab yourself three charcoal, your iron ore, your black quartz ore. We're going to turn one of these charcoal into tiny charcoal, chuck that in your furnace, and smelt up your iron ore and your black quartz. Go ahead and EMC these up. We'll need some of this later. We'll grab four iron, grab one black quartz. We'll have our two charcoal and our six cobble. Go ahead and make your iron casing, and voila, there we have it, a coal generator. Now the coal generator is paired with the beast 
coin miner. That way it can power it and it will produce you coins forever. But for this tutorial, we don't need that. And it's worth 1,174 EMC. So I'm going to use that in there. So the next thing is the coin miner. Go into your shop. This is in the getting started area. Towards the top, you'll see it. It's worth 500 coins. It's quite a bit, but it actually gives you more coins than what you bought it for for the first time. So as you see, it's a minimum of 500. You'll get between 500 and 1,000. I got 988. So that's pretty good. So we made a lot of coin from that. That's important. All right, so the next three, we're going to go Atomic Reconstructor, Powered Furnace, and then Ore Doubling. So first things first, the Atomic Reconstructor is using our iron casing, because this is actually additions. We'll go ahead and use an iron ingot. We're going to need some redstone. That's the next one. So in your shop of ores, you can scroll down. It's in the thousands. Redstone ore. Now, because I'm impatient and I don't want to make an iron pickaxe, I'm just going to smelt this up. It doesn't or anything it's just going to give you one redstone dust so grab your redstone chuck that in grab four grab four iron and there we go everything for the atomic reconstructor you're also going to want to go ahead make a redstone torch and a button so you're going to need your cobblestone redstone and a stick smelt up your cobblestone make your redstone torch we're going to need our coal generator a little bit of coal you can go ahead throw the coal generator down with the coal inside take your stone emc it take it out make yourself a button now we can go ahead, throw the Atomic Reconstructor down. We're going to use the Redstone Torch on it to turn it into Redstone Mode Pulse. That way it conserves its energy. Put the button on top. That way we can use it. So next up is the Powered Furnace. This is why we needed the Atomic Reconstructor, because we need Anori Crystals. And we also need Restonia Crystals. Restonia is just Redstone shot with the Atomic Reconstructor. Same with the Anori Crystals. That's just iron. We need a piece of iron. We need a piece of Redstone. All right, we can go ahead and now break the Atomic Reconstructor. This thing is worth a lot of EMC, so it's worth 2,300. I now have my Restonia Crystal and my Anori Crystal. So to make the basic coil for Redstonia, Black Quartz, I'm just going to make one, EMC it, grab two. I'm going to break our furnace here, EMC that, take out two. So with all the things we need, we can go ahead, Powered Furnace. Done. We can go ahead, throw this in our EMC. Next up is the crusher. We now have everything we need. We have the basic coils, the redstonia crystals, cobblestone, iron casing. Now we need flint. There's a simple way to get flint. Come over to your little water pond here. There's some gravel right here. Come on up. You might get lucky and get yourself a flint out of that first one. If not, go ahead, grab three, craft that up into a flint. Grab yourself all the needed materials. Voila, you now have a crusher. Now you can or double all you would like if you really wanted to. Let's clear up the quest book here. Grab all of our gold. Next up, we're going to do our Salus Mundus. Now this is where the stone kind of comes in. Go ahead, grab a stone. Go into your shop. Down to the magic shop. Scroll down a little bit. We're going to need three different kinds of crystals. So I'm just going to do an air, earth, entropy. And we're going to come in. We're going to EMC these because the next step of these... You can't EMC them later. So you for this challenge or for the speed run, I don't really need to, but it's best if you do it now because the next version of them you cannot EMC. Go ahead, place them on the stone. You can go ahead break them up. Just like so. It'll give you the book for the start thumb craft. That's always fun. You're gonna need a flint, piece of redstone, and a bowl. Three planks, make four bowls. Then go ahead, throw all of this into the, your crafting table. Boom, Salus Mundus. Done. Next up, we're going to be moving away from the first page for a quick second. We're going to come over to resource generation. You'll see at the top is a hopping bonsai pot, and it gives us a random reward of a loot crate. That's so super important because, well, you either do this or kill a bunch of, I guess, chickens that you breed up for a long time. The fastest way to get a loot crate is through here. So your hopping bonsai is just a hopper, vanilla, and some bricks to get your bricks. We're going to go into the shop. Scroll all the way down, then you're going to find your clay. Go ahead, buy one. You can EMC it. Take one out. I'm going to take our powered furnace here, chuck that on top of our coal generator, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook this clay. Grab your brick, EMC it, grab five. This will make your pot. Create your hopper. Create your bonsai pot. Bada bing, bada boom. Hopper bonsai pot. Done. You can go ahead, claim your random rewards, which will also complete your loot crate. And I actually got a really good random reward, a lava chicken. That's really helpful, actually, later on. That's a random reward, so you'll get something different. Last but not least, we need a loot crate opener. Remember when I said we'd need a quest book later? Well, this is why. Then we're going to need seven planks and a stone pickaxe. 
craft that up just like so and boom you are done look at that all nice and clean we can come over to our quest introduction complete the first or complete the introduction chapter claim that reward for a ton of gold there you go we got 4,333 or 32 and well there you go guys I hope you I hope well my head is backwards there it is hello goodbye say goodbye to Wendy say goodbye to Greg Thank you for these beautiful hosts behind me for letting us do this stuff on their island. But if you guys have any more questions about this FTP pack, let me know and I can help you out for sure. But until next time, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.